message your boy talent master jay here here for another episode of bb load sheen draft league ladies and gentlemen and before i get into it guys i want to say thank you for the support on the first battle you guys are incredible and i am super grateful that you guys enjoyed all that battle so if you guys are ready for a second battle for bb load sheen leave a like on this video below comment down below what you think about our team so far and subscribe if you guys are new we're on our way to 300 subscribers it'd be a great goal to achieve as we get ready for regulation c and also i'm going to start that with question of the day because as you guys know we're getting into vgc what is your take on the treasures of ruin being eligible in regulation c are you ready to use any of them are you thinking any of them are going to be broken let me know in the comments below but we got to get talking about our second game, ladies and gentlemen. We are going up against iPad Bigfoot. Um, and again, I, I should have remembered his team name. This is on me for not, you know, remembering team names when I do this stuff. Um, I think I can, maybe I can pull it up if anything while I'm, while I'm doing this. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I've never battled him before or her i honestly don't know uh that side of things but uh from what i've been told they're a really good battler and uh their team name is the cat crusaders so there is that we got their team name by the way um i honestly have never like i said i've never battled uh this person before looking forward to it and in all fairness they've got a very strong team uh, and it is very scary, which, as you guys will see on the screen right now, uh, their team name, or not team name, their team composition is Xerneas, Zamazenta Crown, Mega Charizard X, Zapdos Galar, Hisuian Samurai, Among Us, Hisuian Gudra, Ditto, Obama Snow, and Rabska. And if I remember correctly, Rabska does get access to Revival Blessing in this league but in all fairness i don't see raps could come in at all i don't see a bomb of snow coming at all um uh, maybe uh you know maybe like something if, if he has like a really unique thing maybe but uh last week he took a loss in his week one game had a really good battle i watched it uh he ran Terra Ghost on his Zamazenta Crown, which, in all fairness, very, very cool. I gotta say that. Um, but aside from that, I mean, he's got threats all across the board. I mean, we can start. I mean, do we really need to start with Xerneas? Everybody knows in Ubers, Xerneas, Power Herb, Geomancy. Unless you're gonna run like a Choice Band set or a Choice Spec set, you're gonna. If you're running Geomancy, you're running Power Herb. Nine times out of ten you're doing that so needless to say we know all about Xerneas Zana's into crown like I said he, it's one of his terror mons he can terror it into whatever type he wants uh and I honestly don't even know if he'd terror it against me um Mega X very strong Pokemon fast access to Dragon Dance uh I think it gets defog in this week but I could be wrong on that part uh Galarian Zapdos, as I said, it's probably not coming for this battle because it just really doesn't have that favorable of a matchup. I mean, I mean, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Uh, Hisuian Samurott is probably one of the... It, it, its signature move is just incredible. The fact that it does massive damage, it gets boosted by sharpness because Hisuian Samurott does get sharpness and regular Samurott does not... And its signature move not only does massive damage, gets a sharpness boost, but leaves spikes on your side of the field. Insane. Like, it's amazing how strong this Pokemon is. Um, Among Us, I don't really... I mean, if anything, it could be like a Spore set or maybe a Toxic set. I don't know. I mean, Among Us is not really good in single battle format from what I've seen. Uh, Hisuian Gudra... I don't really know much about it, but I know it's bulky. I know it's very, very bulky. And it's also part steel type, so you know, props to my opponent for picking a steel type. Well, technically two, but Zamazenta technically needs to have the rusted shield in order to be a steel type. 
So there's that. Gudra in his uh, Hisuian form is naturally steel. Uh, ditto. I mean, you gotta be worried about imposter. Just gotta worry about the imposter syndrome. And then, as we said, Obama, Snow, and Rabska, I just don't see them coming. I mean, I got a whole Cobalion. I got a Mimikyu. I got a, a Hisuian Braviary. I got a Zoroark. I got Skyman. I got Blaziken. I got Genesect. I, I got everything that basically screams those two will not be coming to this battle. Uh, but let's get into that team real quick, guys. Let me show you what we are bringing this week. We are starting off with, once again, Eat More Chicken, our Blaziken. But this time we're going a little special on this side. We're bringing Toxic, Fire Blast, Aura Sphere, and Knockoff. 252 in Special Attack, 252 in Speed, 4 in Attack, because I do have Knockoff to get rid of any items on his Mons, like, uh, you know, just whatever. Uh, but Fire Blast, the thing is that Zamazenta, when it's uh, physical defense, its ability gives a plus one to regular defense, and it would be, and to make it better, it's better to go with the special side because nobody expects a special. Uh, and then Aura Sphere is there for the Hisuian Samurai, it's there for the Gudra, for the Ditto, and God forbid I can bait it into something. Uh, and then, like I said, knock off for item removal. Next up, making its debut this week is Desmond Ritter, the Cobalion. Because as you guys know, our team name is based on the Atlanta Talon Flames. I don't want to hear about Lamar Jackson to the Falcons. This guy will be the answer. You watch it. Falcons will win the division next year. Uh, but this is our designated lead because quarterback is the leader of a team. This is our leader. Uh, Rocking leftovers this week. 252 in HP, 80 in defense with an impish nature, and 176 speed. With 176 speed, I always outspeed Elite Hisuian Samurai. And I can literally click close combat first turn. But the main thing that I want to do is lead Stealth Rocks, if anything. Or maybe, you know, God forbid I get a real good read and I can taunt. Uh, but taunt is also there for the Xerneas to prevent a Geomancy. It's there to prevent a Charizard from Dragon Dancing. Maybe Among Us if it comes. Uh, just to get some extra stuff there. And then Stabs, Close Combat, and Iron Head. Next up is Chris Lindstrom, our Iron Hands. Rocking the Assault Vest once more this week. Max Attack, 148 HP, 12 Defense, 96 Special Defense with an Impish Nature. I, if I'm not correct, I think I looked at the calcs and I have to double check on that. Uh... But with 96 and a careful nature plus the Assault Vest, I mean, we were able to take a Psychic from an Iron Moth at plus 3. I don't think we'll be able to take a plus 2 from Xerneas, God forbid, but the hope is that we won't need to be in that situation to take a plus 2 from Xerneas. Uh, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Rock Slide, Thunder Punch. I believe that's the same four set that we ran last week. Uh, it's designed to be that wall, in a sense, and maybe get a kill on the Mega X with Rock Slide or Thunder Punch. Uh, get rid of the Samurott with Thunder Punch. Uh, good coverage on Zapdos and Zamazenta and Hisui and Gudra. So the hope is that we are able to use it. Next up once again is Zygarde Helper, our Greninja. Terra Steel this week. Same thing, 252 in the Special Attack and Speed for Special Defense. Rocking Choice Specs this week. Uh, instead of the Expert Belt with Battle Bomb. Terra Blast, Surf, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse. It's there to try to get some type of a kill late game. Get that plus one. Hopefully it's a favorable matchup. And we just go from there. Next up is Super Red Beetle. Our Genesect this week. Rocking Metronome. Because my plan with this Metronome is I want to get a Shift Gear off. And then just iron head things into oblivion because the more metronome power i get i get more bonus and i get the iron head chance to flinch i get leech life for recovery on the hisuian samurai i got zen headbutt for the gap dose or the among us and just from there try to get as much power as i can and then finally once again choice specs nightmare fuel bitter malice focus blast psychic and trick it is one of our you know, counters to just about everything if we get it in properly. Uh, I mean, Bitter Malice is really good in this generation. 
I wish it could still have Frostbite, but uh, that's only a Legends Arceus thing. Uh, but it would be nice if they could bring Frostbite to uh, the main series because it's just that good. Focus Blast and Psychic and then Trick. If I want to try to trick the choice specs on it again. But that's going to be our team, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get connected with iPad Bigfoot, and I will see you guys at the battle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm an idiot. I did it again on the recording. I got to remember to change my, uh, my hotkeys. I got to remember to do that, guys, because I want to do one of these live for y'all. But unfortunately, I didn't. Oh... Uh, but, in all fairness, I mean, this is a really good battle. And I'm going to talk to you guys in post-com about what happened with this battle. As you see, his team was Ditto, Hisuian Samurai, Xerneas, Hisuian Gudra, Zamazenta Crown, and Charizard. Now, we also battled on April Fool's Day. So, technically speaking, even though the replay shows them in their normal things, uh, or not normal things, normal forms, we had the the ridiculous looking April Fool's uh, ones on there. And I think I saw one uh, sprite where it was like Dragapult where it had something with its children or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into the battle, ladies and gentlemen. Let me explain what happened here. So uh, also, as you see here, uh, I did have a little bit of an internet problem when we tried to connect. Like just my whole house went completely to hell. Uh, but... We were we led with the Cobalion, like we said, and he led with the Suyan Salmon. Now we're thinking, all right, could get a Stealth Rock on here easily. Could also get a Close Combat on here. So we clicked Close Combat. He went into Xerneas, uh, which, in all fairness, was unfortunate. But it kind of gives us a little bit of an idea. Like he's trying to think, okay, hey, maybe he's gonna switch out here. We get a free uh, Geomancy here, but. We get the special defense drops. He goes into Charizard on our Iron Head. We do 16%. I believe that was like a, a high roll or a low roll or something like that. But now he's in the driver's seat. He is in the driver's seat and then some because he's getting switches out and just going to town. So we switch in Iron Hands, Chris Lynch to try to bait it out. He goes for Mega Charizard X, Flare Blitz, and gets the burn of all things on my Iron Hands. So now Iron Hands is basically Iron Fodder. It is just there, done, terrible. Uh, but he does take a lot of damage from the Flare Blitz recoil. He goes again, he knocks out Iron Hands. He's up 6-5 right now. I mean, he says unlucky, but for me, I mean, my thing is, you know, it happens all the time. Now, we send out Greninja here. And you would think it's Greninja, but it's not Greninja. Because he switches in Hisuian Gudra as we go for Trick. So we take his leftovers and we give it a choice specs. Which is kind of... Uh, I, think, I think that's kind of good for Hisuian Gudra. I think that's a good item for it. Um, I gotta double check its uh, base special attack stat, but... I mean, I've seen Choice Specs run on regular Gudra, so it's probably somewhere in the same ballpark and whatnot. But us doing that, we get Bitter Malice. We do 25% exactly. That that was actually count. That is a high roll on Hisuian Gudra. So we got a high roll there as he goes for Toxin. So now Zoroark's on a timer as we switch back into Cobalion. He goes into Hisuian Samurai, clicks Sacred Sword, and we go for our Stealth Rocks. We get the Stealth Rocks up, which was the plan. That was the plan. Get the Rocks up. Put everything out there for extra chip. He goes for Sacred Sword. He lives it. Uh, by lives, I mean Desmond Ritter lives it. And his Samurai also lives. So he has just enough HP to live a close combat from Cobalion. As we go back into Zygarde Helper... We switch in the Zoroark because we we banked. I banked on this. A Sacred Sword. Maybe get lucky on that. And hopefully it wasn't going to be like an Aqua Jet or something like that. But the fact that we got the read on the Samurai was beautiful. As we get our leftovers, 
and he goes back into Hisui and Guji. He takes a little bit of chip from the Stealth Rocks. We go for Bitter Malice, and we do more damage to it. Now, it's at 47% right now, and this is where I'm tempted, and I click Focus Blast here, and thankfully, we get the 70% accuracy hit, and we knock out the Hisui and Guja. So one of his three tanks is done. But we're taking more toxic damage. He brings Xerneas out, and the Fairy Aura goes out. We trick the Power Herb, so he goes for Geomancy, and we get the Reek, which is beautiful. The best thing that could have happened was we tricked the Geomancy on the Power Herb. We got that play, phenomenal. Now, it's still going to get its plus two to everything, but we decide, you know, let's get some extra chip on the Xerneas. Uh, and it's going to take, you know, the leftovers recovery. And he gets the plus two on all of them. But now we're at 23%. Switching Desmond Ritter. Give it a sacrifice. Cobalion did its job. That's exactly what we wanted. And that allows us to bring in Genesec. And we get the attack boost because download goes based on the stats. So it being a plus two special defense means his defense is lowered. So we get the attack boost. It's a roll on Moonblast to Oko and Genesect. And fortunately, we did 90%. Or he did 90%. So our Iron Head takes out this Xerneas. Goodbye. See you later. He brings in Ditto, and he gets the Imposter boost. But he also gets the Attack boost. And Genesect goes down here, leaving us to bring in Blaziken. He brings out his Zamazenta. As we Mega Evolve our Blaziken, go for Fire Blast. Get the hit on the Blaziken, which is astronomical, or a spear, get the KO. We are now tied 3 all, which is beautiful. Ditto comes back out, gets into our Blaziken, which is unfortunate, goes for Fire Blast as we click Aura Spear, and we get it lower. It's plus 2.5 speed, our Blaziken is at plus 2.5 speed. He just sacks off Hisui and Samurai here, because it was basically done. But now, we're at plus 3 speed. He's at 1%. And his Aura Spear knocks us out. Now, I have to figure out what goes on with Imposter. Because unless Ditto, when it transforms, it gets the same stats, in a sense. Now, I know it gets speed boost. But if it gets the same, like, base status as uh, Omega Pokemon, that's insane. Uh, but it made me think. Now... I still have my Hisui and Zoroark out. I also have Greninja. So, I make a play here. And I go into Greninja after he gets to plus 5 speed. I Terra into the Steel type. Because no matter what, I mean, he's got Fire Blast, he's got Aura Spear. Uh, he goes for Aura Spear. Unfortunately, he KOs Greninja. So, we are now down to Zoroark. And because he is locked into Aura Spear, Bitter Malice comes out, and we get the KO on the Blaze on the Ditto. We're at 17%, guys, and he's at 9%. Thankfully, we were faster, and we get the victory, guys. We win 1-0 over the Cat Crusaders. And like it says here, how the hell I pulled that off, I will never know. Because I don't know how I pulled it off. If you guys know and you want to let me know, the comment section there is for you. I would love to know what you guys think about this battle, but I freaking love this Hisui and Zoroark, guys. This thing is one of the best Pokemon out there. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like on this video below. Comment down below. Subscribe if you guys are new so we can get to our goal of 300 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of your hair. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.